Hi this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you how to create a social media profile picture from a photo in your Mac Photos library. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you can read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So most social media networks like Facebook, Twitter, and so on they allow you to create a profile picture. Usually a square photo that you can upload and that's what everybody sees when you post something or comment on something. And most people usually just upload any old photo and then use the tools on the social media site to crop it and adjust it. But you can create a better profile picture using the Mac Photos app and make it all ready to go so you can upload it and use it on any social media platform. So let's launch the Photos app. And the first thing you need to do is find a good photo of yourself to use. A trick to doing that is to use people. So people will show you the people in your photos library. It will identify everybody by face and if you've been keeping up with maintaining this then usually you find yourself as one of those people. So you can go into that and then you can see yourself there. Now if you haven't been keeping up with it you may first want to go all the way to the bottom and then use Confirm Additional Photos so you can get more photos of yourself into this grouping. Then go back up here but scroll down to where it says Photos and Show More. Now click Show More and it will change this into a grid with all of the photos in the collection. Now you want to go to here where it says Photos and Faces. Photos will show the complete photo for each one but if you switch to Faces it will zoom in on the face in the photo. So now you can look at all of the photos of you and pick one that you think will make a good profile picture. So I'm going to pick this one right here and use that. Now if I were to upload this directly it will look just like this. I'd have to crop it or maybe settle for my face being kind of off center. So let's work with it in Photos to make a better profile picture. I'm going to go over here to Edit and the first thing I want to do is crop it. Since most social media networks use square photos and most photos you take are not going to be square you want to crop to be square. So go to Crop and then on the right here open up the Aspect Ratios here and select Square. And that will select a square cropping. Now you can click and drag the photo left, right, up, and down. And you can adjust the corners here to change the size to get yourself right in the middle of a square photo. Now you want to make sure you don't get too close to yourself because a lot of social media networks will crop out some of the stuff around here and it doesn't make a good photo when you're a little too close. So you want to kind of stretch the edges as much as you can while still kind of getting yourself close enough to the center. So after adjusting a little bit I'm going to use this just like that. So now that I'm done cropping I'll go over to Adjust and use some adjustment tools. Now the first thing you may want to try is just using the automatic adjustments. It's this button right here. Click that and that might be all you need. It might look good enough at that point. I'm going to go in and adjust some things directly. Under Light here I'm going to open up Options and I'm going to adjust the shadows because I'm wearing a cap here and it creates a shadow on my forehead so I'm going to brighten up the shadows which will help with that somewhat. I also can adjust other things. I'd like to adjust maybe brightness to make it brighter and contrast as well. For a profile photo you might want more contrast than you normally do. And you could play with other things like brilliance for instance. Just get the effect that you want. Also take a look under Color and under Options here you've got Saturation. Now if you want to have brighter colors go to the right. If you want to make it more like black and white go to the left. All the way to the left it is completely black and white. If you're looking for that kind of effect you may want to actually forget about color here and go to black and white and then just use any of these options here or this line here and it will instantly convert it to black and white and allow you to adjust it. Next you may want to use the Retouch tool. So you go in here and click there and then you can smooth out parts of skin and make your photo look a little bit better. And then I'm going to go to Filters. Now most of the time you might just want to stick with Original. No filters. But Try out some of these filters and see what you get. And every once in a while you get something that looks pretty good. Maybe not as a regular photo, something you want to print out or show to somebody. But as a profile picture it might have a really cool look that you want to use for that social media platform. So I'm going to use Vivid Warm right here. And you could always adjust the amount of the filter for each one. 
Now finally I'm going to go back to Adjust. And the very last thing in Adjustments is Vignette. I'm going to use that and it's going to create this circle around me. If you go with the strength to the right it will create a dark circle. To the left it will create a light circle. A lot of social media profiles already crop things into a circle. So using this effect might help it look better in a circle. But even if it's going to use the whole thing it might still be nice to have some of this effect. It just depends on your personal preference. So now done and now I've got my photo right there. If I ever want to compare that to my original I can go back into Edit and if I click right here that's the original photo and if I release the mouse or trackpad it shows me the photo with all my adjustments. Now the next thing I want to do is just export it for use. So you can go to File, Export and then Export One Photo and export like that. Or you could just drag and drop. So I could drag and drop right here to the Finder, to a Finder window or to the Desktop and I'll get the file. I probably want to rename it here from the default name. And I can use Quick Look and see there's the nice profile picture. And now I'm ready to upload that and use that in various different social media networks. And of course you could also use it right on your Mac. Here go to Apple ID and then go to your Apple ID profile picture right here. And if I were to drag this in I could actually use that as my profile picture for my Apple ID. And then if you like you can return to People right here. Go back in and then look at other photos that might make good profile pictures and maybe save a collection of them to switch it out from time to time. And remember editing in photos is non-destructive. It always has the original. So after you've carefully created your profile picture you can go back into the photo here. Go to Edit and then click Revert to Original and it will go right back to your original photo. That never goes away. So you can create a profile picture from a photo you have in your library without worrying about permanently changing the photo. You can just revert to it once you're done and have created your profile picture. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.